will kick it away. You deserve it. We'll have it first. Dion will take it to the 23 yard line. And that is where Aaron Rodgers will take over. First time seeing you deserved it today. Hands it to Jennings. And he'll fall to the 25 yard line, second and eight. This is a new territory, too, for you deserve it. This is his first ever live Madden tournament. He just started playing competitive Madden in season two after he saw the Madden Classic event, Scott. He was a franchise player before oh, yeah. that, but in only a few weeks time was able to make the top 100 on the leaderboard. So he obviously has a lot of natural raw talent when it comes to the sticks and being playing Madden. Yeah, his buddy kind of stopped playing franchise. Something happened to his system or something like that. And he, he's like, I was getting bored waiting on my, my buddy to get back into franchise. He's like, jumped over to Mutt, crushed it. And now he's here in our Chiefs championship, and he is from Kansas City. I know you mentioned he's a Patriots fan. But he's also a Chiefs fan. It would mean fan. a lot. It would mean a lot to him to move on to the finals to face Billy Weemum. First and 10. And finds Jones. Night Train Lane tried to jump the route, RG, but it finds its way to the 45. Nice little dot. He had Night Train Lane looking like he didn't know where he was on the field the way he threw that. If he can do that, if he has that route every time like that, LT might be in a little bit of trouble. First and 10 from the 45. Hands it to Jennings. Talk about that battle ready trait where you just match A that time. Not able to win it as Anthony Barr was also hanging all over him. See what LT can do, and we talked about earlier that LT has some additional pressure on him after eliminating Aaron. The pack between them is, hey, whoever wins our game better go on and win the whole entire thing. So LT not only playing to represent himself, but he doesn't want to let his boy Aaron down, who he eliminated earlier as well. And Randy Moss to the 32, and you deserve his feeling it right now as he should be, just prolifically moving down the field and already in field goal range. And that's something that takes some pressure off of you, Scott. On your first drive, when you could yeah. at least get into field goal range and know that you've pretty much guaranteed yourself three points and unless there's a block or a turnover or something like that, that you start feeling pretty good about yourself. Hands it to Jennings here, finally gets a block. Just gets a yard. We talked about it, it's a, it's, it's a risk. It's an 82 gold item. And Jennings does have the battle-ready trait that allows him to win some one-on-ones. The problem is, not many one-on-ones when you got three or four guys hanging on you. <laughs> Second eight, Rodgers. Quick pass out to Jennings, and he does slip a tackle. It gets to the 18, and that's where I think that battle-ready could help. It didn't get the ability there, but you get one-on-one -on -one with a with cornerback, break a tackle, that could lead to a touchdown. Absolutely. Something I loved about that play, too, is you deserve it. Stepped up in the pocket and slang that right to the flats. Anytime you can see a player step up in the pocket, that's a really good sign. One of the worst tendencies, even some of the best players have in Madden, is they get that ball with their quarterback, Scott, and keep dropping back, which is a no-no. You want to step up in the pocket, and I'm glad to see you deserve that, do that early on. Good to know that he might have some crispy pocket presence as this game uh, continues to progress. A lot of people are watching for the first time, especially here in Kansas City. A lot of these guys listen to a playlist, sort of gets them in the mood, sort of sets the tone, and he's bobbing and weaving to something. Throws a low pass to Moss, who gains four. Had a guy wide open in the left flat. Yeah, I was looking at that, and it looked like that, had he thrown that, that there was some room in front of him upfield to not pick up the first down and then some. Uh, still got the completion nonetheless, but probably could have had a little bit more had, had he went to the left probably side. Probably listen to something that's absolute fire, but in my mind, he's just he's jamming out some Taylor Swift. Oh, and there's no, a pick! Okay. That's Dayon holding it like a loaf of bread! And prime time will see ya! He'll take it to the house, and LT just add a, just add an eye to that because he just got lit. Wow, that's huge for LT and something we talked about for him earlier is he is known for having the best defense out of all of our competitors. Yeah. He only allows 8.8 .8 points a game. That's stingy, Scott. That's extremely stingy. Had a pick six in the quarterfinals against his, his man from Texarkana. 
Aaron, and this time he picks off. You deserve it. One of the things he was that, on a drive. One of the things that was interesting about that pick six is as LT picked the ball off and was running it back the other way. You deserved it. Was still like bobbing his head, like singing know. along with whatever he has. I, I mean, he might need to stop. You know, a little bit less focus on the music and more focus on the game, maybe. You think he's a little nervous? I mean, you finally make it to the stage. The cameras are on. You know, you got the little camera on top of the, the monitor. You're sitting there. Crowds there. Maybe a little nervous. LT, and it is Sean Taylor with the INT. And all of a sudden, and he's still right. Look at him. He's still singing lyrics. Bro, you just threw an interception. <laughs> you you, you, you got to focus in. It, it, you, enough with the lyrics, and you know, let's get some offense going. Hands of Kelsey. Kelsey gets a block near the first down. He's going to be just shy, second in inches. Now, T smartly choose the clock and is going to take it into the second quarter. And that's good to see because that was one of the concerns with him earlier was poor clock management. So to see him already starting to correct that, Scott, is a good sign if you're LT. Seven-point lead. He had a pick six. And now he's got the ball just outside the red zone. And Travis Kelsey, they called him the best running back in the game. He's a tight end. But welcome to Madden Ultimate Team where you're the GM. You do what you want. Okay. And you, you can usually sub. You'll see teams do that sometimes where they sub the tight end sure. over there to the backfield. The Broncos used to do it with, I believe, Virgil Green uh, very often. And uh, it's a strategy that, you know, you, you'll see a lot of teams use. And when you're the coach, the GM or whatever, you can say, hey, Kelsey, get in there at the fullback position and pound this rock. And that's a... And, Let's face it, Kelsey, for a big tight end, he's pretty athletic. He's got the Very size athletic. and the speed to get upfield and then fall forward when someone makes contact with him. You do got to be careful, though, if someone's to lay a hit stick on him, he could cough the ball up. There's a QB sneak, so the ball to the nine. First and goal, leading by a touchdown, looking to make it two. This has been a long time coming for Jerry Littleton, a.k.a. LT. He's been wanting to make a run at these events for a long time, and he's in prime position to do so right now. Scott, complete control of this game. High formation. Reese, that signature item, dot in the eye. He'll make it to the eight. Time for some red zone defense for you deserve it. Good clock management right now by LT. And you know what? You should have good clock management. You're a high school football coach. Second and goal from the eight. And the gun split close once again. Little movement, green across the formation. That's the campus hero from the University of Georgia. And he's eating up that clock and he'll take the time out. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. No, you don't like what you see. <laughs> Go ahead, sure, stop, eat, that and, clock. eat the clock, and then yep. use the timeout. You're not going to – there's so many times where you end the first half with all your timeouts, or leftover timeouts in the first half. I mean, take them with him. they're not as precious. They're just not as precious in the first half. You, you should use them. That's what they're there for. I thought that was a really good timeout by LT. That was a high point, but A.J. Green can't hold on. So third and goal from the eight in the dead zone. We have not seen a lot of scores inside the 10. He's going to motion Julio and throw a high pass to him. You got to watch out for Julio right here. He's coming on the. There it is. Didn't get his feet down, though. Good defense out there by Mel Blunt, the legend from the Steelers. He just able to carry him out of the back of the end zone. What does my dude deserve to jam into <laughs> I don't over know. there? He's, playlist. he's like really into it. Like I've seen people bump music before, but he, he's all in. There must be some fire. If, 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 if I'm down 10. I'm not rapping. I'm not bobbing. I'm, leave not, it. I'm not. I'm angry. There's no sing-alongs. There's no lyrics. <laughs> there's none of that. Oh, so it's, it's, it's the Frozen soundtrack? Let it go? Just let it go, dog. Just lock in. Forget let it go. Lock in. Ball at the 25. 
Time for you deserve it to go to work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It almost threw another INT. Would have been his third INT of the game. Had back-to-back -back possessions where he'd thrown an interception. This is his third. Moves with Jennings. Boy, not enough speed on that goal, Jennings. Just cannot get room. Oh, and LT, sometimes the stats don't lie. Just playing phenomenal defense. He also lets up the least yards per game at 152. Nobody else in the tournament is letting up less than 179. So LT's defense giving up the least amount of yards, giving up the least amount of points. And we're seeing why so far in this first half. So first and 10. Coming up on the two-minute warning, about 23 Jennings. seconds out, and Jennings gets to the 42, second and three. He's Even a field goal on this drive would be big. Yeah, absolutely. To make it one possession, that's where you want to be. Anytime you're playing competitive Madden, Scott, or any type of football, and you're down two possessions, it could be quite demoralizing. But if you're able to go down here, get some points, get your confidence back up, and then get yourself a stop, you're right back in it. No big deal if you, you deserved it, but what you can't afford right here is another costly turnover to give LT the ball in your territory where he can kill the clock, guarantee him some point, himself some points, worst case scenario, and maybe make it three possessions. Jennings to the 44. Third and one. Clock moving for 144. Left in the half, trailing by 10. You deserve it. Is that a bit of the turnover bug here in the first half? Quick pass, Jennings has some room, and he'll get out of bounds smartly at the 44. Yeah, the 27-year-old superintendent for a construction company. He's a project manager for a construction yeah. company, 27 years old. Finally starting to put it together here on offense. And I think Jennings has been the key for him thus far. It seems like when Jennings is touching the ball, that's when he's at his most. It was when he's been most effective thus far. When he takes the shots deep downfield, we've seen him throw interceptions. We've seen him throw to LT's defenders where they drop the interception. But as long as he's keeping the ball in Jennings' hands, good things have been happening for him. Quick little mid draw there on first down. Picks up four. Goes back to the running game. He'll get to the 38. Third and four, plus territory. Looking at his kicker, and he has that Steven Goskowski kicker um, with the focus kicker as well. So he is in field goal range yeah, right now. Five yards from there. Clock moving. 45 seconds remaining in the half. Rodgers. Finds Randy Moss, the legend, and he takes it to the 29. Hugo deserved it, and this feels like a casual game, but this is far from casual, Scott. This is to get into the championship of the Chiefs Club Series where you just got to win one more game to get a chance to fight for $50,000 to play some Madden. A quick out to Randy Moss. Steps out at the 26-yard line, stops the clock. 25 ticks to go. He has all three timeouts. Has all his timeouts. Let's see if he starts taking some shots towards the middle of the field. At some point, you got to get it going. But you can't turn it over. Uh, we talked about it already. You need to make sure you at least get three here. Timeout. There you go. 20 seconds to go. Worth noting, LT will get the ball to start the second half. Which is big if you're LT, because no matter what, you'll have a chance to get the ball, come out in the second half, and make it two possessions once again, where you could, you know, feel quite comfortable. Third and two. Steps up. The pocket presence. Shakes one. We cannot get away from the other, and he'll burn his. LT called the LT's timeout. LT's going to call a timeout on fourth and two, and force him to kick the field goal. There's that focus kicker. 38 yarder for Guskowski and it's up and it's right down the middle. Maybe LT wanted to give himself a chance with Deion Sanders. We've already seen, seen him do some damage on the kick returns with Deion. Maybe that was the mentality behind the timeout. But if you don't get a good return with Deion here, you got to be careful airing it out because, you know, sack fumble, 
pick, something like that. You don't want to take a situation where you're going up into the second half up seven points and, um, you know, instead g give your opponent some life to get back into it. If I'm LT, I'm just kneeling this out. I was going to go for glory. The first and 10 from the 32, leading by seven. Three deep coverage, and he'll hand it off to Reese. He's got a wall of blockers. Trying to use some stick work there. He gets to the 46, and that's how the half will end. A little sportsmanship there. I love it. I like it. I like it. There he goes. He deserved it still bobbing his at, head. At some point, <laughs> Yo, he's got to focus in. Yo, what is in that playlist? The thing that I like about it is, Usually when people have bad breaks and they throw a pick six or, or whatever it is, they get discouraged. They get mad. He's not discouraged or mad. He's just still vibing to the music. Maybe it keeps him in a calm place and helps control some of that Madden rage or some of that tilt that people can go on when playing this game. The strategy's starting to make sense now. He needs a turnover. Quick throw out to Kelsey on the right side. He'll pick up the first down at the 36. You, you know what's sad, Scott? Because we're playing the game at like the highest level, but I can I still never see anybody win tackle battles when it's not the battle ready. Like a different button that yeah. A pops up in the tackle battle, and we, we look like deers in headlights. Like pretty bad. Kelsey will get to the 41, so a gain of four on first down. Bring up second and six. A little bit of audible here. We'll go to the bunch to the right. Going on base. I was going verticals. Motion's green. Good job by Anthony Barr, the user controller of you, you Deserve It, came up and took away the drag. And it's very important that he took that away and that the pressure got there because A.J. Green had a step on his defender. Had LT had some more time to set his feet, he might have had a big play right there. So first and 10 on another little pass out of the backfield to Kelsey and really that wheel route out of the gun split close has been sort of a money play for LT and oh, Reese phenomenal. gets loose to the 41. A lot of confidence in that man's face LT. He's got a scary focus and he's got an intensity to him right now where he knows what's at stake. This has been years in the making for him, Scott. This isn't just one season of Madden. This is over 10 years of playing this game, you know, just starting to perfect your craft, adapting to it, and wanting to make a name for yourself. And it all comes down to this moment here. And that look on his face lets me know that he knows what's on stake. He, what, what, he knows what's at stake. He's playing with fire in his heart right now, Scott. Second and six. Throws it out to Reese. Wow. And he'll get to the 30. You got to think, when is you deserve, they're going to just put out a hard flat zone out there, which would be ready to jump one of those um, wheel routes out of the backfield. You got to look for him to make that adjustment later on in the game. Goes to Kelsey. Kelsey on the fullback inside, down to the 17 yard line. The way big Kelsey just kind of slides through those holes. He, like, he looks way more agile than he should be. But that's good lab work by LT and Aaron. They said they tried a variety of different tight ends. They tried the scheme with different personnel, and Kelsey was the guy that worked for him. Decides to go to Fitzgerald, so Gerald breaks a tackle to the 10 yard line. So we're going to have second and three. And that was a great job of his play calling setting that up. Right there, you saw you deserved it. Run to go guard the wheel route himself, and that left the middle of the field wide open for LT to throw the drag route. He set that up with all those wheel routes he's been throwing. Kelsey will check out. He was huffing and puffing on that earlier play. Reese almost fell forward, and now it's the hardest thing to do in Madden, get one yard. Let's see if you deserve it as QB sneaky. A lot of players at this level do have defense for this play, but you got to show me you can stop it. There you go. And he'll gain four inches. There's one. He's at the half yard line. He'll go quick. I don't think he's going to stop it again. Got to get that shed. Second and goal. Audibles. 
There and that will get in there. He'll break the plane. And pinning the extra point, he's going to go up two scores. Look at him. Continuing to rap, continuing to get his flow on, Bob to the music. He's enjoying himself. He's just enjoying himself. And you, you know what? I, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if it's a distraction. I don't know if it's helping him, you know, stay calm. I got to ask him. I, I, I would love to know what the deal is with the music and uh, how it impacts him when he's playing the game. We're going to have to pull him aside after this game or if he could come back and win. Well, that's what he's hoping. He's yeah. hoping maybe he could tell Pete Sweeney yeah, yeah, that maybe our, sweet, maybe Sweeney our, our Chiefs reporter has done such a great job today. Shout out to Pete. Ball at the 21. He'll hand it to Jennings. And one thing here is you're trailing by two scores. There's only six minutes left in this game. Six minutes in Madden is a long time, but you're right. He's running out of time, Scott. He needs to have some sort of urgency to go down there and get himself a touchdown on this drive because three just isn't going to cut it. 13 carries for 39 yards for Jennings. Third and eight. He could get a touchdown here. He's right back in it. You put LT under a lot of pressure, and all you need to do is make that one stop. Get yourself right back into this game. You got Jerry Rice, Randy Moss. You got Goons. It's time to go to the air. Of course, Julio's out there. Good to you. There's Nothing. A sack open. party in the backfield. Nothing open. And LT bobbing his, his hand right there because he knows that was huge to get you deserved it. And to a fourth and 19. And is he going to go for this, Scott? Got to. We're gonna, he's going to let it run to the fourth quarter. You got to go, even though it's fourth and forever. I don't. What makes you think that you can stop LT? He has yet to stop him. I think you have to punt this. Fourth and 19? He hasn't shown us that he has a 19-yard play yet. All of his passes have been very, you know, short underneath. LT didn't send any pressure, it. though. And Julio. Dropped it. Can't hold on, and it's first and 10 from the 12, and LT firmly in the driver's seat. If things keep going the way they're going, you're going to have LT with Aaron in this corner, and you're going to have we versus Wima if you deserved it in this corner. Do we, do we just allow coaching for that game? It would be fantastic. <laughs> Probably well, get some good sound bites. The nice thing is Billy Wiem is sitting right now and taking all this in. He's already punched his ticket to the finals. And right now it looks like it's going to be LT. But you deserve it. He's got 421 to stand up. Ooh. Oh, it was so wide awesome. open. Tried to high point it, RG. That was the good point. You took the words right out of my mouth. Had he just pressed the button. You're so used to having to high point it there, but he yes. was wide open. You could have exactly. just walked You could have just pressed it. Yep. And that's the skill gap right there. Some sure. players are good enough where they don't need the muscle memory of, oh, I'm just going to high. They can actually read and make the post snap read. And that's usually another skill, another level that you can take your Madden game to. When you're able to make post snap reads instead of just pre snap reads, your game instantly goes up a notch. The key to that field goal is now a three score game. 17 point lead for that man right there wearing number 17. And if he's making it a three score game, you got to question him even passing in that last situation. I know he got his guy open, but he could have ran the ball, took some more time off of the clock, and still made it a three possession ball game. Four minutes left in this one. You deserved it. He talked about the swag of his name, that it's really good when you're winning, it's really bad when you're losing. He did the next thing you know, you're getting a message, you deserved it. He did say that. <laughs> Funny. Jennings picks up the first down, he's out of bounds at the 37. This Jennings, this LT's just letting him eat with Jennings all day long. No, Moss, Rice, I mean, where are they? They're on like a milk cart somewhere. Julio, you, you, you haven't been seeing those guys. It's just been all Jennings so far. He's having to keep Spaeth in the block. That's not the throw you need. Second and 10. LT's defense has been phenomenal so far in this tournament. Jumbo, under crush, under crush. 
I said time and time again, he's had the best scoring defense. And Rodgers. He's down by Dion. One thing you see LT do when he sets up this defense is you'll see him take that linebacker and he's going to stand him right over there over that right guard. See that? He just did it right there. And that cut, sometimes what that does is it messes with the blocking logic a little bit, makes the guard hesitate for a second, and opens up some lanes for some of those other ru rushers. It's no coincidence that he keeps taking his linebacker and standing him into that gap. So first and 10 after the run by Jennings. Ball at the 49. At, at some point, you got to go downfield, RG. Uh, he's tried, and the thing is, he's tried to go downfield, Scott, and there's just nothing there. It's either the pressure's getting there, everybody's locked up, LT's literally telling them, go to Jennings or get locked. It's a box, as they like to say in the community right now. It's a box. And LT is the one providing a box for you deserve it. So third and nine, ball at midfield. Got to come with some sort of mesh concept or something. Good defense by LT. These routes are so slow developing. And you know, you got some great route running, but I wouldn't say you have any speedsters out there in the drag game. Yeah, you don't. You just sure as heck don't have the, the Fuller and Cooks that yep. our guy Wima has, huh? So fourth and 21. I think it's fourth in the turn. Yep. Has to get it. Finds Ooh, Julio yeah. Jones at the 35. And a little ray of sunshine for you deserve it. <laughs> a little bit of sunshine on this cloudy day for him. Two minute warning. Ball at the 35. Gonna need three scores, RG. I just kicked the field goal here and start the. I, 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 <laughs> Start the evacuation process of trying to get back into this thing. Go to Jennings. Go to Je now you took now the you can. There, there you go. go. And now Bro, Jennings don't trying hurt to go him. airborne. The hurdle was risky. He might have fumbled that up. He, he gave LT a little to... smirk after that, Man, just that hurdle. You guys were talking about in the pregame. You really wanted to see somebody hurt. <laughs> I might have had something to do with that, huh? <laughs> I think some... that's why he gave us a little smirk. <laughs> that would have been funny. 92 seconds to go, first and goal. All three timeouts for both teams. We deserve it trailing by 17. The three timeouts is key for deserved it if you can get a quick touchdown here and an Gotta outside throw kick. That into space. The big 6-7 tight end pulls it in. Still bobbing his head, still, still going along with the beats. Those Teletubbies beats are fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Stop. What is he listening to to make not himself so happy? It's not Teletubbies. Come on, Scott. You kill him. This is big. This Onside is big. kick. If he can get it. this. And it's going to be picked up by LT in the way of Larry Fitzgerald. He'll take over at the 39. How did he got that onside kick? It felt like he would have had a chance to really make a run having the three timeouts because it's just get in the field goal range real quick, maybe kick the field goal. And you can go for another onside kick. Hopefully, you know, you get it and you're right back into it. But him not recovering that onside kick, I, I think it's going to be lights out. And I'm not talking Madden Daly. Second and four. Ball at the 33. Just a minute left in this one. LT looking to move to the finals. Face the guy from Grain Valley, Missouri. Old Billy Wima. That's going to be such a sick championship game. The hometown hero, Billy Wima, representing his team. And Travis Kelsey, yeah, he'll just lay down. This is going to be such an insane game, Scott. LT, who's been going after this glory, this type of glory for over a decade, trying to get himself his first big major win against Billy Wima, trying to represent his hometown Kansas City Chiefs. I am so pumped for that game, Scott. That thing is going to be bananas. Bananas. I'm telling you, LT is the one who deserved it, and he will move on to the finals. There's some good sportsmanship, yeah, and class. LT from Texarkana has come in, and he's going to have the opportunity to face Billy Wima in the